everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to get a nice glissando. So um, there's two parts to it. Part one is your fingers, which you can slide to the side like that. You see? Usually we do this. Now you do this. You see? So the holes are all slowly, slowly, slowly opening up. Um, another apart, important part is that you control it with your mouth. Um, I don't know if you tried this before. You can play a high C and make it do all kinds of crazy noises. You see, I'm not moving my fingers at all. So, um, for clarinet, the easiest part to do glissando is from this D onwards. Because we can't really slide over B flat to B. I think if you practice maybe half a century, you could, but who has time for that? So, you start on this ray or D, and then you do a combination of your mouth and your fingers. You see what I did? I barely moved my fingers in the beginning there, and then when I was halfway, my fingers were already gone. So you can do it without fingers as well if you like, but I kind of like it to get um, everything started. So if you're doing Rhapsody in blue, it will be kind of something like this. slide from F sharp to G just for extra fun so that one you basically just uh, do with your mouth because yeah you could slide this hole a little bit I guess but this key there's not much you can do with it so it's like this um, yeah so that's basically how to do a good glissando so you control it with your mouth and you have your fingers to help you a little bit that's it Okay, uh, let me know if you have any questions, PM me, let me know, and I'll try to put it in a video for you.